I'm going to show you real quickly in how to take Geometry Sketchpad and set up uh, a couple of things here. The first one is how to set uh, for measuring the degrees or radians. So go to Edit and Preferences, and you want to set your units to be radians. And you can measure the precision, whatever you want here, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands units. That'll be where it rounds it off. It actually keeps it um, further digits than that and uses the further digits in its calculations, but what it displays is, um, is what, it's, what you say here. Okay? So you want to um, apply to this sketch. You might want to apply it. go ahead and apply it to new sketches. Um, you can decide whether you want to do that or not. But uh, for the sketches for college geometry, we'd like things in radians uh, for almost all the time. Okay. Uh, next, the text palette. You probably already remember this. You can hide or show the text palette by hitting display. And um, that's going to be uh, that's going to be very useful for a lot of what we're doing. Next, we're going to talk about defining a coordinate system. So notice if I say graph and define coordinate system. It makes a coordinate system, but notice I can rescale it. And notice something that's interesting here. If I measure the distance here, um, notice that distance is 0 to 1. It's a distance of 1 on that number line, but it's not a distance of 1 centimeter there. That's problematic. The other thing that you can do is change your graph um, to a uh, rectangular grid rather than a than a um, square grid, and now um, you know. Now, now, for example, if you go, uh, let's see, here. Um, I don't know if I get this perfect, but just just roughly speaking, that's uh, practically a a square right here. But of course, it doesn't look like a square, Euclidean square. That is. Okay, so. Notice that that is a very useful thing to have sometimes, but not for what we're doing in our class. So what we want, we want to be careful here. So we, what we'd like to have is a scale where the, the distance is measured Euclidean-wise and the coordinate distances match up. And to do that, here's how you do that. You start by setting a new parameter. Uh, you can be anything you want. I'm just going to call it unit and make it one centimeter. Then with that selected, go to graph. So if it's not selected, notice when you hit graph, you can define a coordinate system. But if you select that, you can go to graph and define unit distance. Now we have a coordinate system that's a square scale and the distance from here to here uh, is, uh, if we measure that, uh, well, if I put it if I plot it in the right place. So let's go to graph, plot points, and plot a point at 1, 0, and then measure that distance. It is 1 centimeter, okay, which is what you want it to be. Now this, this grid now that we have here agrees with that. Once you have your grid, then you can decide whether or not you want to show things. Uh, you can you can select everything. You can go. Uh, well, first of all, you want to hide this because that was just setting it up. Now, you may or may not want to show the grid, so you can go to uh, graph and go to hide the grid. You can go to graph, and if you hold down, let's see, is it shift? If you hold down shift, it will hide or show the whole coordinate system. And now the whole coordinate system is hid. Okay. And then if we go to graph, um, we can hold down shift and then show the entire coordinate system. Of course, if you want, you can make hide show buttons for just one or the other of the axes. Okay. So, or for both the axes or whatever you want. So you can, if you want to make hide or show, hide or show grids for that, you can. It's, um, you could actually do this, um, let's see, hide, the, hide this, 
show the grid, control A, select all. Now with that selected, we can make an action button to hide or show, let's see, is it hide or show the whole coordinate system or just the grid? Hides, hides or shows the grid, so I would probably name that hide grid. And then if you want, so if you want to hide show button here without having to go through that, you can do the same thing. And you can do a similar thing for just hide the x-axis or hide or show the y-axis or hide or show both. Um, so you can you can have this where you can turn turn these things on and off uh, as needed. But you want to have that, for example, to use the tools, that grid, uh, some of the tools that we're using in hyperbolic geometry and taxicab geometry, especially taxicab geometry, uh, are dependent on the coordinates. They're def anything that's defined from coordinates, and then you have other tools that are defined from distances, we want those tools to kind of match up. And so um, to, to get those things to match up correctly, we need to define our coordinate system in this way.